hi guys, Steady Eddie here. This time taking a walk through the island of Koh Tao in the Gulf of Thailand. Well, there are three islands, three well-known islands in the Gulf of Thailand. There is the popular Koh Samui and Koh Panyan. This island of Koh Tao is the smallest and also the most notorious of those three islands. Why is it notorious? Well, I'll talk about that in another video. Right now, this is a glossy sunny day. It's a beautiful environment. So, let's keep thinking positive. Beautiful rock formations here. Gives it a kind of prehistoric look about the place. Well, this beach here is beautiful. This is the most well-known beach on the island. It is Sari Beach. And it's very, very popular with young backpacker types. There are hordes of young people down here at night time in the bars. Well, I must admit, I absolutely love tropical islands. I mean, who wouldn't want to be here? Beautiful beach, lovely clear water. Absolutely fantastic, gloriously hot temperature. This is the kind of climate you just can't get back home. And these amazing rock formations on the beach. Really, really is a marvellous, uh, marvellous location this. Absolutely fantastic. Now, as for all these bars here, there are some good food, food places here. You can get some, you know, some, some nice food and some not so nice food. At the night time, this place is populated with a lot of young people. You know, the young backpacker types. I have nothing against them. I mean, an older person, you know, could easily feel out of place here. But the fact is, look at these islands here. These islands are, are amazing. They've been here for millions of years. I don't think you should just not come here simply because you've heard it's full of young people. Why should young people be allowed to hijack the islands? No, no, these are beautiful islands. These should be for anyone. Let's take a little, little diversion through the back seats here. Obviously, in an afternoon, there's not much happening. How much of these businesses have been affected by the pandemic? Well, I'm not so sure. There seems to be a lot more places closed than what they should be. But at the night time, there's some nice bars and restaurants along here. And you will be pleased to hear that they are not too expensive. Uh, you, you know, tropical islands tend to be quite notoriously expensive. But, but this place isn't. I've found the price for beer and for food to be really quite reasonable. You know, if you shop around, you can get some good, good food there. You can get some good restaurants. So, not much happening there this afternoon, so let's head back down to the beach. What I was saying a moment ago about uh, you, you shouldn't not come here simply because you've heard it's full of young people. I mean, it's, at the same time, I, I wouldn't like to come here and find that I've been hijacked by, the, you know, the Golden Oldie Brigade. I mean, I wouldn't like to see a place like this turned into another Benidorm or Mallorca. You know, all these Golden Oldies uh, eating sausage, egg and chips. You know, the women playing bingo. You know, I, w I wouldn't like to walk along here and hear the sound of, you know, a bingo caller calling out. All the blues, 22. Two fat ladies, 66. No, I wouldn't like to hear that. I mean, a tropical island should have a, you know, a bit of romance about it. And this really is romance. Even if you're a, if you're a solo traveler on your own, you can still feel, you know, you can feel like you're Robinson Crusoe walking, walking through an island along this beautiful beach, you, you know. Uh, I, I, I love places like this. So, 
Now, who else did Tropical Islands appeal to? Well, I suppose they, they appeal to, you know, uh, couples who want to, you know, you, you know, an island getaway, maybe even honeymoon and couples, that sort of stuff. It's not the ideal place, you know, if, if, you're, if you're a single man looking for hot ladies or anything like that, this is not the place to come. I mean, there's not really any of that scene, but I didn't come here for that reason. I mean, if I want that, you know, if I want that scene, I'll, I'll go to Pattaya or Bangkok. I come here because it's a, it's a beautiful island. I think maybe, you know, if you're after the ladies, then you, somewhere like Koh Panyan, or I don't know what the script is with that, but I believe there is that scene in Koh Samui. That's all to come anyway. But for now, I'm just relaxing in and enjoying the scenery. And the scenery really, really is good. Okay, so I'll stop waffling for now. So now, now uh, we'll, we'll head into the town centre and show you what that's all about. Oh, Koh Tao, by the way, is also known as Turtle Island. So that explains this big thing here. Hello. What's that? Oh, maybe later. Maybe later. Hello. Oh, looks nice, looks nice, looks nice. Oh. oh, it's a long day there. Too long now for me there. 9.30 to 16.30, that's, that's seven hours there. Oh, you can always fly with more long tail. Oh, well, I'll see what happens anyway. I'll have to see what happens. You know, I can't do long days anymore. I run out of energy. Okay, but anyway, thanks. That's it.
What's that? Well, it looks good. Okay, well, Copan Yan, yeah? <coughs> That will be next on the menu, so uh, I may well get back to you. In the morning, 250 baht. That sounds good. Hey, that sounds good. I like the sound of that. How long does it take? One hour. Just one hour from here to Koh Phangan? Yeah. And is that the main part of Koh Phangan? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I hope this video has given you an idea of what Koh Tao is all about. More videos to come. So, if, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to press that subscribe button. A big thanks to those who already have. And remember to press that all-important notification bell for latest uploads. So, I'll say thanks for watching. Have a great day, a great evening, at whatever you're doing. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.